All right, so for Christmas this year, we each got each other a handful of gifts. It was like one gift for adventure and travel, one gift uh, to read, one to wear, something like that. Uh, it was Kelly's idea. There's Kelly, she's getting ready, looking all cute. But um, my gift for her was a Wilmington scavenger hunt. And it was something I found on like TripAdvisor, it looked kind of cool. But I, I still don't know if it's something that like you do if you're not from Wilmington and you come here and you're trying to explore or we live here. So we're, I don't really know that part, but I figured why not video it and uh, take you guys along for it. We're gonna hop in the Jeep's first like 70 degree day, super pump. And um, we're just gonna check it out. And apparently I'm gonna like text, text this like host. She's gonna send me a document and we're starting at a place. And then there's like, I guess things we gotta check off. I don't know, we'll see. We're gonna make a video about it because that's what we do now. So <laughs> just because I like documenting these things. Uh, but anyways, yeah, here we go. Let's go check it out. That was the video. That's exciting. Okay, so here's the list of the dares. Is that right? The dares? These are anywhere dares. Anywhere dares. What does that mean? It can be completed anywhere, anytime. 300,000 points. Oh for my god, it's a lot of points. Awesome. Okay. So first challenge was uh, like a, to do like a photo shoot involving depth perception. And so I took these photos that I will show right now. And uh, okay, we're moving on to like the next challenge. So we had to shoot a selfie with our team name. Our team name is Caleb's Breath Stinks because that's what I asked Kelly this morning what our team name should be and she just said your breath stinks so that is gonna be our name. That's our team name. But my breath did stink so this is true. So this is Caleb's Breath Stinks scavenger hunt. So our cheeky thing is gonna be, okay, look, oh, there's cheek, and there's cheek, <laughs> cheeky. <laughs> this is fun already, I like it. The only thing that takes the fun out of this, paying for parking. I hate parking. What's the next challenge? Uh, it says, delight us with a fancy formal food or drink tasting at either of these staples or another location of your choice. Flowery, descriptive language to convey sensory experience you're having in your mouth. Take your self 100% serious. No laughing. Bonus points if you can appear to clearly know what you're talking about. <laughs> okay, all right. I get it. So it's like faking as a high-end food critic kind of deal. You have to use flowery, descriptive language okay. to convey the sensory experience you're having in your mouth. <laughs> okay, all right. 100% well, serious though. No laughing. No okay. laughing. Right. Me... You get bonus points if you appear to not know what you're talking about, uh -huh. but overconfident. Okay, yeah, you can do that. All right, so today I will be trying the chocolate revelation. They call it the chocolate revelation because it truly is a modern, revelation a mixture between the old style of cupcakes and the newer style that you see here um, this is this is a it's a hefty bite look at these chocolate sprinkles on the top i'm going to go ahead and take a bite and i'm going to tell you what i experienced as i experienced that mm. Mm. it's like mm. wow it's like sleeping on a cloud of chocolate and whipped cream. I get notes and tones. I really, <laughs> no. I, get, I get tones of rich mahogany and I feel like I'm in touch with a younger version of myself while I enjoy this chocolate cupcake. And that is exactly the Caleb Cupcake Review for today. No laughter. <laughs>
Okay, so one of the um, side missions was to learn fun facts about Wilmington. And uh, here is a historically plaqued home. Notable origin lived here. And uh, here's kind of their story from the Nantucket. Master of the St. John's Masonic Lodge. Plaques all over the place. There's actually one right over here as well. And that is the historic Wilmington Historic Society. Fun fact of the day. <laughs> I think I spotted a ghost. I think I spotted a ghost. Oh my gosh! Ah. See that ghost that we saw over there was pretty scary. I go lie. <laughs> Crazy. So this building here was the slave quarters for this main building. That's wild. Look at what it used to look like. Huh. That's crazy. Wow. That is insane. I did not know that. Yeah, so Kelly just pointed out that every one of the church first to actually keep records about marriages, births, and deaths, and the freedom. So this is actually probably one of the more forward-thinking churches around that time period regarding slaves. So that's kind of cool to know that maybe some progressive change started with something like that. Pretty neat. I like it. Yeah. We, oh, we might have to talk about it. It's right here. Gotcha. <laughs> Got me. <laughs> it was recorded. Next. If the location's inaccessible, use your imagination and somehow do this count. Be... No, unfortunately, it just closed. That's okay. We can still do this challenge. What's the challenge? All right, closing up the antique store for the day. What a beautiful day here in Wilmington in the 1920s. Please, can I come there? I know it's closed, but I really love it. An antique. Hey, ma'am, don't you know we're closed here? I can't get the store open. I got a bunch of lollygagging dew droppers not showing up for work. I'm sorry, you're going to have to find your antiques another day. <laughs> the next challenge is the golden gallery all right what is it kelly let life imitate art here or anywhere you can find anything that you consider art anything that we consider art let life imitate art all right let's figure this out Check that one out. All right. Now we're at Ings. Okay, what's the next challenge? It says meditate or engage in public yoga or let out your inner runway model diva at any fashion. Well, we like routine. yoga and I meditate, so we could do yoga. Let's find a place to do I'm yoga. Going first. Okay. <laughs> this is so cool. This is neat. Are you coming to keep us stay healthy? So we need to make tasty yogurt anytime. Just a follow me, sit at peace. Namo. Cool. Namo. Ami. Ami. Tofu. Tofu. Good girl. One more time. Namo. Namo. Ami. Ami. Tofu. Tofu. Good job. You have to say it. Yes, oh, please. Okay. <laughs> Namo. Namo. Ami. Ami. Tofu. Tofu. Good boy. Ah, yes. Keep this one for free. Oh, That's why I want to you and your family keep us stay healthy. When you do meditation, you when you sit down all the time, you can feel really calm, relaxed. Yeah. Take a stress out. Give very good energy, good tea. Run your body, your house, so the bad is bad the luck they cannot touch you. So bless you. Bring good fortune, good luck, and happiness to you. That's all for now. Have a happiness, good fortune, simple life. Yeah. For the future, we want your experience even with God or Buddha or Jesus. Mm -hmm. The appear that's life of heaven forever. Let's make it stronger, powerful. 
always go up. I love that. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. That's very sweet. Yeah, keep us there too, and you can take a picture for that too. Oh, cool. <laughs> this oh, is a sentiment testimony. Is. That's so cool. Yeah. Oh, there's a testimony. That's yeah, cool. even this one too. What? It's awesome. They, they no way. No way. Oh, way. Yes. That's amazing. Yes, keep us there too. That was so cool. Okay, for historical facts of Caleb. Here we have a lighthouse. I believe this is a lighthouse lens. Otherwise, not. so I like lighthouses, by the way. I've got one on my shoulder and I like, I'm just kind of a nerd. But this lens is called a Fresnel lens. John Fresnel, big leap in technology that allowed ships to shallow parts from far away. So, lighthouses, neat historical fact. <laughs> yeah. Little. I know my cat. That's a straw. Next challenge is at the Black Cat Shop. So, what you're supposed to do here is play a practical joke on a team member. So don't tell. Sh I think these are perfect. Oh my gosh, Caleb, you got something on you. You're gonna move on you. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's a is joke. It's a joke. Oh my god, stop. <laughs> I literally have chills. That looks like a real pretty. You really do. Oh my god. <laughs> this is a clip. Oh my god. Oh my god. Well, we found her candles. We well, found her candles. What does that say? <laughs> oh, look at that sexy Jeep. Girl, walk into a sexy Jeep. So we've officially completed the kind of the main part of the scavenger hunt. We've gotten through all the the main objectives and now it's on to like optional or additional objectives basically they gave us like a two hour time limit if we wanted to like compete for points i think they have like some type of online leaderboard if you want to do it fast we definitely took our time and went super slow and just had I mean, fun we started it 30 minutes <laughs> we started three minutes late so we're like on our own time right um but we had a blast doing this it was super fun i highly highly recommend it i think this is something you could do in like a new city so like we live here and this is super fun but also if you did this in a new city it would be equally as fun and equally as like illuminating so it's like super cool i like how they make you really really tune into specific like wilmington or city um related stuff in history which is nice now we're going to where okay so now we're going to drive to i, I think, think the plant garden a couple carnivorous additional plant garden. carnivorous plant garden which if you didn't know much about wilmington uh venus fly traps grow here and apparently it's kind of a weird thing in this area so that's part of the carnivorous plant shut up um so we'll go check that out and um we'll probably be wrapping up our video here pretty soon but this has been so freaking fun yeah. Good, good on, good job. Boom, yeah. you could buy carnivorous plants not a buy is that you said because <laughs> i feel like some places you can right? i think they're like protected i don't know that you can buy well maybe you probably can buy them i used to have one as a kid i think then never mind i'm an idiot you probably can't buy anyway here you have to visit the site of the famous past venus fly trap grand heist or research it but i mean let's walk around and it says find out the total dollar amount of the stolen goods and why a repeat crime will probably never happen again this one seems in depth <laughs> there's it's like probably multiple the layers like, to this look. maybe there's a sign let's actually yeah. let's just check <laughs> so this this whole thing was started after stanley who was obsessed with fly traps and he said what do you say kelly he said, i like it i want to do more <laughs> that's, what, that's what he did he did a lot of it so oh here's a little sign yeah i told you look the venus fly trap can only be found 7500 mile radius around wilmington north carolina not be found anywhere else in the world. How crazy is that? I didn't that? realize that. No, I told you. I thought it was here, and then like I, th I read online that it was so also like Madagascar or some yeah. random thing like that. That's just such an interesting, unique thing about Wilmington. 
You're gonna find one? I bet you're not. So quiet. This is a nice trail. That's cool, it's like to the side. There's a little footpath. Maybe that's where you spot them. Found some. I literally found some. I literally found some right here. Look. Right here. Where? <gasps> this is the first ones I've found in Wilmington. Whoa. That is so cool. Oh my gosh. There's some more. There's more here too. They're kind of everywhere. Oh, and the other ones. What? I've never seen these before. That is so cool. That's really cool. That really I've never neat. seen them just like chilling. Yeah, I've heard they're real small and close to the ground like this. That is so neat. Look at them. That's so cool. So these like red ones too, these like kind of jug plants, pitcher plants, I think, where they fall inside. Pretty wild. Another one. Look. That's so cool. We just ended up Googling it. Yeah. And I found that in 2009, 900 Venus fly traps were taken from the Green Swamp Preserve. 900. And then in 2006, so many fly traps were stolen that they started marking them with orange dye. But this one, this one that they're talking about, stole 970 Venus fly traps. Oh my gosh. Yeah. And it was, hold on, I, I saw how much it was. He was jailed with a one million bond. Okay, million dollar bond. I'm trying to figure it out again. I just saw it. <laughs> Separate video for that. Found it. So a plant nursery about 25 miles southwest of Wilmington was burglarized. Took more than 18,000 fly traps, estimated at 65,000. Thanks. <laughs> You're so fast. Fun and I found a Venus fly trap. I've never seen one. I've, I've known, I've literally lived here in Wilmington and known them that they're here. I've known that there's this trail and I've just never freaking like went to it. I just did. So, um, what's next? Pachinko World. Pachinko World. Another thing that I've probably never heard of that never heard of. So, let's check it out. That went cool. Oh no, Pachinko World is closed. That's okay. Hey, these are pre unprecedented times, but we're here. How do we creatively still do the challenge? Because what is your favorite game at the only pachinko house in America? Okay, what's our favorite game? Uh, all right, so we can't play a game inside. Play rock, paper, scissors, right? Wait, uh, wait. Let's do three. Two out three, you sure, ready? Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Boom, got you ready. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Okay, you got on. Here we go, that's one one. Here we go. Ready? Wait, what? That's one yeah, one. Okay. Ready? Go. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Oh, paper, scissors, shoot. Ah, oh, no. You won. I was going to do rock again, but I thought it was too obvious. <laughs> Wasn't there a thing that like men always do rock first or something? You sent Actually, me a, I think you sent a TikTok, me a TikTok of that, and I literally just did it. Yep. I'm an idiot. The only two bonus challenge brown things left. One is to find this... Uh, sculpture of golden paddles, paddles, golden paddles. So we've looked up and found the address. We're gonna check that out. And then the last one is somewhere at Slice of Life, which is a really cool pizza place here in Wilmington. So, huh, almost done. We didn't even realize, we were right there. I know, right? It's by a major intersection we drive by all the time. I know, I've literally driven by this a hundred times. Alright, so this is actually really powerful and it might change the tone of the vlog a little bit here, but this is really, really important. This is a monument dedicated to the coup d'etat of 1898 that happened here in Wilmington. It's something I've really only learned about in the last couple years. And it's amazing that I didn't know about this event throughout history, really growing up in North Carolina. But in 1898, the short version of the story is that there was a successful biracial government with lots of African Americans serving in prominent uh, positions in society and then there was basically this mob of um, extremist uh, whites that felt like their life was being threatened and basically 
burned down this newspaper that was a black owned newspaper and then ran through the streets shooting and killing every black person that they saw in an attempt to overthrow the local government because they felt like it was threatening um, white livelihood. So this monument here is just to remind ourselves that this happened here in this area on the soil as a reminder to never let something like that happen again and to always promote quality and businesses and you know anything moving forward. Very powerful. There's a book out there called Wilmington's Lie. If you haven't read it, I plan to read it. I haven't read it yet. It's something that's on my list. Apparently it's really, really good and kind of details the whole story. So check it out. It's kind of a unique aspect here of Wilmington. Not necessarily something to be proud of, but something to be aware of. And I think this is really cool that we have these monuments. So. I want to show it. Final stop on our journey, slice of life. What do we gotta do here? Um, it just says do something epic for the team grand finale. Do something here. epic for the grand finale. What are we gonna do? All right, this is our epic thing. A celebrity. He looks like Caleb Courtney, who was on Endurance. Oh my god. <laughs> Insert picture here. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not signing autographs today. Sorry, I'm just trying to have like a, a, a nice day. I don't want to autograph, so please. But I mean, I guess I could make an exception for you. This is part of our scavenger hunt. We have to find a celebrity. And I mean, I mean, we have a celebrity. <laughs> Oh, it's recording. Oh. <laughs> that was it. We're done. We are like tired and happy and my cheeks hurt from smiling. It was super fun and my belly hurts from all that pizza. That's another problem. Um, that was super, super freaking fun. So we want to go ahead and shout out this scavenger hunt company, which honestly, I literally just forgot the name of. This tour was awesome. How we found it, I just looked on TripAdvisor and like typed in kind of like fun things to do in Wilmington. The name of the company is Alley Cat Adventures and it was awesome. Hands down, one of the better experiences we've had especially like scavenger hunt they basically supplied us with the document of everything to do and then they gave us a there was like a group chat where we had someone who was we could ask questions to while we were doing the scavenger hunt like her name is katie she was awesome and it was super fun and we had a blast like sending her like these dumb because basically she she's the one checking off the list and giving you points for yeah. if you do the things yeah. correctly it was really fun we were like able to make her laugh and stuff which was like i don't know made us laugh but yeah highly recommend i think we'll definitely do something like this again for sure but i just want to shout them out i'll put the link in the bio for uh, how to find them and stuff like that thanks for watching our little scavenger hunt wacky wilmington scavenger hunt that's super fun any any parting words why do you do this i do it because people want to hear from you too <laughs> okay kelly hates talking all right y'all peace out we'll see y'all at the next video i'm leave recording for a little bit too let the credits roll yeah, we've been talking in it. <laughs>